answer a question today about the straight angle lock and fixing a problem that occurs with the straight angle lock for a lot of people who are just getting started working off um, the Irimi Ashigurami. Uh, here's a common problem, okay? Uh, we, we have a good entry into our classic Ashigurami, uh, Irimi Ashigurami position. We have our legs configured in the right way. We have one leg under, one leg on the outside. Our toes are turned out, our knee and heel connected. We've got good connection here between our thighs and our partner's leg. And then we wrap our partner's ankle the way that we were taught and we get a grip the way we were taught and we start our action of what we think is gonna be the finish. We bridge, we extend, and here we just kind of we find that we're bridging, 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 we're extending, 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 and there's just no result from our partner. Here's usually what is going on. If you'll notice, when, when once we have our arms in position, although the upper body is bridging and extending away, the hands are not uh, staying, keeping pace with where the upper body is. So as I bring my chest forward here, and we start to rotate, the hands actually kind of slide down a little bit. As a result, the lock itself around our partner's ankle tends to loosen. So we may start with a really good grip and our hands here, but as we go to bridge, we lose the conscious awareness of what our hands are doing. And by the time we get to this finish, our hands are down here by our, our belt line, by our waist. Now, because this space has opened, it went from a very tight space here to one where there's a little bit more room, we don't have very much control. And not only that, but when we apply the force, we have, there's like, some of, some, some of it gets lost, okay? So what we want to do is, once we have our connection here, and we have a good bite, we focus on putting our hand up by our, our sternum, we lock our hand in place with our support hand. So you have a hand that's doing the work for the finish, and then you have the support hand. We lock our finish hand in place with our support hand. And now when we go to extend, we take both hands with us here, rather than moving our head and shoulders away and allowing our hands to drop. Now, no matter how far I extend, his leg, his ankle doesn't feel any of the pressure. So once again, we're in front of our partner, we knock them down, we draw ourselves here into an Irimi Ashigurami. We lift our partner's uh, leg and we get our good connection. We start off with everything looking great. Heel, knee, foot on the inside, foot on the outside. We lock our hands. And now when it's time to finish, especially if he's coming forward trying to fight, I focus on this strong arching position because what I was told was if I arch and I bridge, then I'm going to get the power to get the tap. In reality, you can see what's happened. The hands have slipped down. So the way to remedy that is to take the hands high, keep them high throughout the entirety of your finish. If you find that your hands have slipped down here, then you may realize, oh, he's not tapping. Well, here's your first cue. Take your hands and bring them high again. And you'll find that your partner feels quite a bit of pressure at the end of the, um, right by their ankle here. This is a pretty, um, common thing. We see this, at the, especially when people are first learning how to do the ankle lock. You want to be very conscious of where your hands are. Try not to let them drift. A good rule is your hands up by your heart. And remember, you have an arm, a hand that's doing the work of the finish, and then you have a support hand. You want to make sure that your support hand is on top of the finish hand, and that you keep both of those as high as you can. The truth is that this, this rule generally is followed when we do heel hooks as well, but it's going to be very, very helpful for you when you start to work off of straight ankle locks, okay? Um, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, you're welcome to subscribe. There's a bell and it will tell you when there's a new video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.